thought reflection and your specific person. How do you know that they're reflecting you? Well, they are. Have you tested it? Have you tested yourself to see if someone's reflecting you? Have you tried to say some affirmations to yourself and then seen if anyone in your reality has repeated it back to you, like you're saying, I'm magnetic and someone calls you magnetising? You eat that. Have you decided that you want to get a really arsy parking spot outside of Walmart and the next day you get a really good parking spot for free? You did that. Are you anticipating free coffee and you keep getting free coffees? You did that. Now, a lot of you think that's coincidence. That's manifestation. You dominantly think things. You are in the state of imagining it's true. It becomes true. So if that's the case with coffee and parking spots and affirmations, it's exactly the same with your specific person. They're only reflecting you. And the way I know this is, ask yourself, how did your breakup occur? Were you thinking thoughts that they then repeated or actions that they then took that you were fearing they might take, like you thought they might leave you and they did, or you thought other girls were competition and they left you for a third party, or you thought they'd reject you and they said something nasty and rejected you and told you to fuck off and die? You did that. You manifested that with your mind. You sent thought out to them and they reflected it back to you. If you don't believe me, look at the shitty circumstances of your life right now, like a money situation that's bad or a work situation where you're not being respected or a breakup or a friendship that's gone sour and think, was I having fearful thoughts that have now manifested right in front of my fucking eyeballs? Oh my God, I've been manifesting all this time and I thought it was some kind of woo-woo thing to start doing because I've been watching morons. Guys, manifestation happens all the time. You're manifesting your reality. Now you've got to become consciously aware of what you're thinking so you're not manifesting a whole lot of shit, like breakups. If you want your specific person back, you have to change the dominant thinking you were thinking before the breakup that caused the breakup, and then when you change the thinking, you'll send that thinking to them. They start to think it. They send it back to you, and you're back together. If you guys aren't getting this, if you're not understanding how thought reflection works and how you literally cause your own breakup, please, please, please get my free mini manifestation course, course, and even better, get my self-concept course, which goes into detail about what your hidden thinking is that's causing your breakups so you can get your person back, okay?